This is Twit. I'm in the HDMI licensing booth talking with Jeff Park, the technology specifications manager, and finally we have HDMI 2.0. Yes, we do. It was launched in September of uh, last year, 2013, and it was released to all the manufacturers. Now they're taking advantage of the new technology that was specified in this new specification, and they'll be releasing more products throughout the year. Uh, typically what happens is the specification is released, and about a year time, they need time to develop, make new chips, new products, and so on, and software. And the following year, which will be this, this year fall, you'll see a large number of uh, 2.0 products uh, based on the new technology. Now, the new technology has increased the bandwidth almost by a factor of two. Yes. The bandwidth has increased now to 18 gigabits per second to allow for a much higher frame rate of 4K. So HDMI has supported 4K since uh, 2009 when HDMI 1.4 was released. But now with the introduction of 2.0 specification, we have bumped the bandwidth up to 18 gigabits, which allows you to have 4K 60 experience at 444 encoding or all the way up to uh, 4K at 120 hertz or even at 4K at 16 bit color using 420 encoding. Now, you do bump into that bandwidth limitation if you want to go beyond 420 at more than 8 bits, right? Correct, correct. Currently, we're limited to 4K 60 8-bit 444 if you're doing 444. Uh, however, we believe that since most of the digital content that's being released uh, initially is to be for 4K, it will be in 420 anyway, so quality loss or any loss in fidelity would be very minimal, if not uh, none at all mm -hmm. uh, in most cases. And uh, what's the roadmap for the future? I mean, if there's a 2.0, there must be a 2.1 coming. Yes, we're always working on new uh, technologies to add to the specification, uh, but with anything, it, it takes time. And we usually don't uh, announce roadmaps uh, because there's it's very fluid. There's a lot of companies being involved. There's over 70 companies right now developing the HDMI technology. So we never know which directions we're going to go because so many companies are involved. But I can all, all I can tell you now is we're working on something, uh, and we'll see what, when that's released. One one of the things I want to just make sure we touch upon is the use of the term HDMI 2.0. Now a lot of companies use that term. But it really doesn't say too much, does it? Correct. Um, we've always pushed or had marketing rules that discourage the use of version numbers because version number was always intended for manufacturers. So manufacturers take the specification and say, okay, I need to use this version to build my product because I want certain features. Same applies for the 2.0 specification. It's just a, a, a version of the specification does not denote, say, features. For example, if 2.0, what does that mean, right? Does it mean it includes 4K 60, dual view, 32 channels of audio? It really doesn't mean it includes versions from an end-user perspective. Mm -hmm. uh, so what we're doing here internally, the, um, the HTML forum working group is look, looking to create new marketing guidelines. Um, what that means, we don't know yet. Because as with any committee, it takes time to kind of process things. Right. Um, so we'll have new marketing rules. But right now, what the consumer need to do, as they've always uh, done in the past, is look for the features you want. So let's say I want 4K 3D. Then look for the devices that have 4K 3D. Regardless of what their marketing version number says, just look for that feature, and then you'll be okay with it. I hope the manufacturers take heed because this would be a really good thing. Thanks so much for talking with us. You're welcome. Thank you.